Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and this is probably not the most ideal setup ever, but I am on vacation right now, and I do want to just make a quick video for you guys on the Apple event as well as the iPhone 13. So there has been some pretty recent news of the iPhone 13 leaks. I do want to show you guys in a few minutes here. But let's talk about the event a little bit, and as you guys can see, I do have a little monitor in the back. Now, if you guys haven't already had a chance to play around with this Apple website logo right here, go on to apple.com right now, and you guys get to see the full AR experience uh, Apple has made it very interactive this time around it launches up the AR version of the Apple logo you can place it wherever you want I'm not gonna ruin the entire surprise for you guys but if you guys walk inside the Apple logo and I really mean it walk inside the Apple logo you're gonna see something inside that's really incredible. Anyway, so as you guys can see right here, the Apple event is gonna be happening this Tuesday. Um, you guys probably are just excited as I am. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be back until the Wednesday, so I'm not sure. I try to push out a video for you guys while on vacation as well, but uh, we'll really have to wait and see for that. So if you guys don't already know, the back of the iPhone 12 has some magnetic pieces right here. Uh, it only came with the iPhone 12, and there was the MagSafe charger, where you can just pretty much click it on and it will start charging. Now it seems like this time around, Apple is working on something with the MagSafe again, so it could be just adding more magnets to the back, or it could be a bunch of things, but uh, it looks like they are making some sort of change. Now as you guys can see in the back of me here, Apple has confirmed four new iPhones, and they're calling the iPhone 12 a legacy devices. Now that kind of hints us similar to the iPhone 5C, if you guys can remember, it kind of just completely disappeared. And then it also happened again with the iPhone XS when the iPhone 11 came out. Uh, so totally just disappeared. You only had the iPhone 10 and then the iPhone 11. So I think there's so much competition with the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 13. Maybe there is not enough differences. That's why Apple's getting rid of these. But uh, as of right now, they are saying that it is a legacy device. Now, if we scroll down a little bit right here, you'll see that the back is a little bit different. Uh, you do have weird camera placements now. Um, I'm not really a fan of it if you guys are let me know in the comments below i really think uh the camera already looked weird enough like this and like the pro with the three dots uh but now it looks a little bit weirder it's sort of like diagonal for whatever reason so yeah just scrolling down a little bit you will see that there are some indications that the notch is going to be smaller there's going to be new changes to uh, the magnetic piece uh there's a bunch of things including a brand new color which is really awesome so we have it up on the screen i don't even know if you guys can read it or not and i don't even know if the orientation is correctly or not if it's flipped around i'm really just winging this video right now uh for you guys uh but it does say that that there are legacy devices which it does match up with the iPhone 12 so uh, these are going to be legacy devices and then they have four brand new products uh, which they will be calling the iPhone 13. So what's really interesting about this is we are only a few days from the event and Apple has decided to leak out their own iPhones. Uh, this is not a publicity stunt. I think this is some kind of mistake that they've done. So uh, there we go. We have our first indication that the iPhone 13 is arriving very soon. And then we do have our indication that the iPhone 12 is going away or uh, going to be one of the rare unicorns. So uh, keep the iPhone 12s if you guys have it. No longer is it going to be available in stores for you to buy or online. So now with the event just days away, I don't think we're going to be seeing any more leaks or any talks about it. There's literally no point when Apple is just going to tell us what it is in literally like three days. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on, on that and I will be keeping you guys updated either on Twitter or on here uh, as soon as the product drops. But anyways guys, there is one more thing I want to talk about and that is a Beta 9. Apple is probably not going to be dropping Beta 9. It's probably going to go directly to the RC build, which I think is the right way to do it because Beta 8 is so good right now. I don't think there is really a need for Beta 9. And the RC build literally always drops after the Apple event. Uh, that's when everybody can literally download it and test it on their device. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Sorry about this whole setup here. So this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and once again, peace out.